Lapit na po dito, dito lang po. Lapit na po dito. Lapit na dito. Okay, stop. Okay, bye. Dito lang po. Lapit, lapit, GM. Dito lang po, lapit na po. Dito lang po, lapit na po. Pau, lapit pa. Pau here. So, kumusta ang biyahe po ni? Kumusta? Mike, 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 Mike. O, pala ito, ito. Ay, excuse me, excuse me. Here, Jimmy. Hello. So how was your experience in Poland? Help me, please. Excuse me, excuse me. Help on, please. Cell phone, please. So, Pauline, what's your memorable experience in Poland?
Uli, meron na ba naka-plan yung LGU or yung Bohol for you? Meron na bang plan? May, may panahit ka ba? Kung kami ganito? I still need to talk to the people who are going to work for that. Because I already have like such an amazing kind of grant walking after this university. I don't know what is it about. Sorry, I still have a little problem. But yeah, I'm just, I would be so happy and so excited to just be able to do that in Bohol. And see my mom again, see my dad also for the first time after the pageant. Okay, and last na lang, anong message mo sa Filipino fans, sa mga pageant fans? Oh my gosh, we made it! I think we did so well for the Philippines this year and I'm so proud of our achievements and I'm calling it our achievements because I know that, like I said before, this is one of the most important journey. This is one of the most important journey. And I'm so grateful for how far we're able to bring the Philippines on that support.
Okay. Here. 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 Ay, sir, mamaya na po yung mic. Pinipicturean pa po namin. Salamat po. Picture, picture. Picture, Pauline. Picture. Here. 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 Pao oh, here. Here. Thank you. Here. Pao. Uro mo yan. Uro mo sa forward para makaano ako. Pao here. Middle. 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 Here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pao oh, middle. Wave. Thank you. Not here. Jimmy. Hi. Thank you. Welcome back. Pauline. Pauline. Pauline, did you expect? Pauline, did you expect to make it all the way to top two? No, of course. I was hoping and praying the entire time, every segment. Because the way I pray, it's like kind of specific. Uh -huh. So after every segment, I always went back to a little prayer. Oh my God, Lord, make this, make my performance, make myself worthy enough for the next segment. Lord, please allow me to just hold the mic. I want my message to come across. I was able to make it. When you finally held the mic, you were the second to answer the question, and I remember you and the host still smiled at each other before. Okay. You, before you answered your question, but you you had the presence of mind to really think, uh, to really listen to the question. What was going through your head then? When I when I heard the question, I already knew exactly what I wanted to say because dedication has been part of my core message even before I left the So I felt like this is my time to really allow my thoughts to hopefully resonate with everyone else and to everyone who somehow relates to my journey and my story as well. So, I was so grateful that that was the question, and I'm so grateful that the host also helped me, you know, breathe out a little bit, get back into my space, and answer at least without losing myself in the emotion of standing there in the top two or standing there in the top five, and be able to at least deliver the best way that I could. When you were holding hands with Ecuador after that, because you were closing your eyes all throughout, you were feeling the moment. What was also going through your head, and what what were you guys talking to each other? If you were saying something to each other. We were both telling each other how deserving we were to be where we were, where we are in that moment. And I also personally want to get thanked her for <laughs> that little moment of weakness that I had when I didn't know what was happening and she helped me with my breathing exercises. I told her, if it wasn't for you, I might not have been here in the talk pool with you. So I thanked her for that. Yeah, can you explain to us that moment? Uh, we saw a photo where you were lying on the ground, your legs were raised on a chair, and Miss Ecuador was there. What was happening there? Yeah, so I, I don't know what exactly my body went through. I remember being in the holding area, which was a tent outside, and I was already doing my hair and makeup and everything. So it was really calm, I knew what to do, and I had everything planned out already. It's extremely hot inside. To such a point that I felt, I don't know, like a migraine? I felt pressure in my head at some point. And I, I told one of the chaperones, I can't take the heat anymore. I think I need to go outside or have some fresh air. So they complete me outside and they told me it's better if you lay down and raise your legs. And then they also told the others not to crowd over me. And Miss Ecuador is the one who was kind enough also to go outside and to help me with some breathing exercises so I could get, so I could, you know, get back in control of my body and what was going on so that I could really still be able to perform and represent the Philippines during the preliminary competition. Because that was on that particular day. What's your message for Andrea? Okay. Your message for Andrea? For Miss Ecuador. Andrea, of course, thank you so much for helping me through. And I know I've seen you in your journey in the supernatural. And I know how you have been dedicated to this journey. And I'm so grateful for that. And I know that you're going to make all of us proud. You're already making us proud with everything that you do. And you're part of so many people into this journey. So I can't, I can't thank you enough for helping me. And of course, I wish you all the best in your life. Pauline, what can you say to a lot of fans who think na parang sayang, isa na lang, kulang na lang, na parang, yeah, who really felt that? Just... <laughs> so yes, um, I at some point I feel you, I'm not gonna tell you how you should feel or how you should 
manage your emotions and feelings when it comes to this. But I do want you to know that I myself am happy and I am so, so proud of how far we were able to make it. And I can only hope that you do find peace with it and find pride in this journey that we collectively share together. Pauline, um, Miss Philippine, the Miss Philippines pageant will have its screening next month. Next month, the bus? Sabi, yeah, that's oh, what yes. we told. I'm going to update the Philippines, but the thing is, it's okay. So, what advice would you give to your successor? Ooh, to my successor, of course, we go back to the dedication part. It's really going to be about your dedication grow and flourish through this journey and I also implore you to have at least enough courage to take always that very first step. Every journey seems so scary and so impossible sometimes because of how big of a or of how grand responsibilities might be. But once you take that very first step, you realize that you're actually stronger than you think. And with the help of so many people around you, you'll be able to catapult yourself further than you ever Pauline, what's your message to your mom? Mom! Oh. <laughs> Am I going to emotional again now? It's okay, we did our crying already in, in Poland, but I'm so happy that she was able to make it all the way. Ma, thank you so much for flying to Poland and for watching my international pageants. I felt so, I, I felt so empowered seeing you in the audience, and I'm happy that I was able to share that, that moment with you. So, Hopefully that's enough as your birthday gift. Is the birthday and yeah next month? But no, I'm just kidding, of course. And I can't wait to see you and Papa again when I go back to home.